is video number three. And let's call this video calculating your personal net worth. Calculating your personal net worth. Now, we do this now because once you have an idea of what your personal net worth is, we can then keep track of a change in your net worth for a month by creating a budget. And our goal here in a couple lessons is for you to create your very own business enterprise. But let's keep it personal for now. Remember last lesson we said anything owned is called an asset. So if you personally, let's say you're a college student, if you own some things, let's start with the very first thing that you owned in your pocket, that's cash. Let's call that cash and bank. Let's also say you own an iPhone. What else might you own that is of value to you? Let's say you own a laptop computer. And you have a used car that you come to campus with and you drive and it's yours. And of course you have household effects like your bed, your, uh, uh, your TV, um, your, uh, perhaps your furniture, anything in your home, maybe your clothes. We'll call that all household effects. Now, the next thing we're going to do is let's assign a value to each of these assets. Let's say you have $100 in the bank. And your iPhone, let's say you could replace it. Let's use replacement values of 200. And let's say your laptop, you could replace it for $800. Your used car has a market value or a blue book replacement value of $6,000. And let's say your household effects, your bed, your TV, um, your clothes is worth 2,000. If we added up everything you personally own, Let's see what your total assets are. That's 300 and 800 is 1,100 plus 8,000. So your total assets are equal to 8,000 plus 1,100. That would be, let's write it down here. That's uh, $9,100 total assets. Now we recall from the last lesson that anything an entity owns is called an asset, but anything it owes is called a liability. So on the right, using the fundamental accounting equation, let's say that the student has two debts. Let's say it has a credit card debt. The student owes money on, let's say, MasterCard of 200. And let's say the student also has a loan, a student loan payable. So almost any liability is going to end with the word payable. And I'll just abbreviate that pay. And so the loan payable, is, let's say, is 3000 When added to the credit card payable of $200, let us write that down here as 3200 So if our assets are 9100 and our liabilities are 3200 we can infer that our equity is, what's the difference between those two? It's going to be 9100 less 3200 um, we can do that math right here. 9,100 less 3,200 would be 5,900. And of course, if we had an Excel spreadsheet, we could make sure that that equals much easier. But we'll just do this in our head for now. So 9,100 less 3,200 is 5,900. And our equity, of course, when we add it to our liabilities, has to equal 9,100 which it does. So 200 plus 3,000 plus 5,900 equals the sum of our assets. So what we've done in this lesson is we've taken an individual person, a student for example, and we've calculated his or her net worth or equity by adding up all the things he owns, subtracting all the debts owed, and the difference is the personal net worth of this personal, uh, this individual student. This ends Lesson 3, Calculating Your Personal Net Worth.